Television, video, and games, constant supervision uh, and constant supervision. Our next guest says these and countless other distractions have become the hallmarks of our childhood today. So could new trends in child rearing actually be destroying our kids' imaginations? Joining us right now is Anthony Esselin, the author of a new, really interesting book called Ten Ways to Destroy the Imagination of Your Child. I actually, I, I was I was flipping through this. Um, it's really... I, it's kind of tough love for parents, in a way. Um, yeah, tough love for parents. Uh, actually, uh, a finger in the eye for most of what we do to children uh, these days in our schools and in our homes. So some of the things that you talk about, keeping children indoors too often, never leaving uh, children to themselves. Take those two and, and dive into those for us. Oh, well, yeah. Um, well, first of all, we do want to destroy the imaginations of our children. Otherwise, our economy would collapse because people would stop buying things they don't need and don't really even enjoy. Uh, but um, you, you can't let your kid be outside because a single blade of grass out there is a more wondrous object than anything that the kid will see on a screen in, in a month's time of viewing television and video games and all those other things. So absolutely, you've got to keep them indoors. Also, you say a replacement of fairy tales with cliches and fads, cutting heroes down right. to size. How do, what do you mean? Well, um, we've done a, a job on fairy tales in our, in our schools the last several years, right? I mean, last 20 years. You can't have fairy tales because fairy tales are based on what every culture really knows about human beings. It's, it's archetypal. It's, it's, it's natural human knowledge. But we don't want that because that really taps into the imagination. So instead, we've got to replace it with, um, with uh, uh, stories about whoever happens to be politically favored at the moment. This, this good, trains the child into, uh, you know, good it, holiday it, it, away gift, from the imagination of politics. Yeah. Called 10 What's Ways that? to Destroy the Imagination of Your Child. Anthony Esselin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Thanks for dealing with us with us.